some breaking so news. Looking on saying, please give me up. In baseball, San Diego Padres pitcher Dylan Cease. He can add no hitter to his resume. The 28 year old right hander no hit the Nationals this afternoon in Washington, D.C. Yeah, you deserve a celebration, Dylan Cease. And marks just the second no hitter in Padres franchise history. The only other time it happened was with Joe Musgrove back in 2021. It's also the second no hitter in Major League Baseball this season alone. If you remember the Astros, Ronald Blanco, no hit the Blue Jays back on April 1st. And let's welcome in our MLB insider Jim Bowden. We're going to talk about Dylan Cease and then, of course, some other pitchers as the trade deadline is looming. But let's talk about Cease first. And Jim, I don't know if it's like the power mustache is just like a good thing for pitchers in the MLB that we're seeing. We saw with Paul Skeens, now Dylan Cease, 28 years old, recording only the second no hitter in Padres history. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, he's been a game changer for the Padres and culminating with this no hitter. He threw 114 pitches, 71 of them were strikes, nine strikeouts. He leads the National League in punch outs now. 12 more outs came on the ground balls, and that's because the slider and sweeper were nasty. He kept it at the knees or below, and the Nationals kept rolling over on those breaking pitches. He did walk three batters in this game, but he was absolutely brilliant. And I think when you look at this outing, for the Padres, you realize if San Diego can find a way to get in as a wild card team with Dylan Cease and Michael King, they're going to have a pretty good shot of winning a short series, especially if they can eventually get you Darvish back from the restricted list. But this was a very impressive uh, performance by Cease. And if you remember, San Diego Padres GM AJ Preller picked him up on the eve of opening day. That's when he traded for him, and he may end up being the best pitcher that's traded between spring trading and the deadline based on the news I'm hearing today on some of the other big pitchers available at the trade deadline. Oh yeah, Jim, we've been talking yeah. about it leading up to that trade deadline. Scooble, Crochet, those are some of the big names, of course, in terms of pitching that have been thrown around. So what are you hearing about those guys? So first of all, in the Tariq Scooble, we'll start with him with the Tigers. We're hearing that the Tigers have not received an offer that they're even contemplating at this point. Apparently, there's significant difference between what they would would need in order to trade him compared to what their offers have been out there. Now, Garrett Crochet is a little bit more complicated here because what we're hearing is Garrett Crochet and his agent have put a curveball into the entire trade front right now because they're basically saying that, hey, if Garrett Crochet is traded, he will not pitch in the postseason for a contending team unless the team that trades for him is willing to sign him to a long-term contract. Now, it is possible that a team like the Orioles or the Dodgers, if they trade for him, would be willing to give him that extension. But, you know, it'd be difficult to negotiate a deal between now and Tuesday's 6 p.m. deadline. So that's a new curveball that we didn't know before. Uh, there's a lot of teams, seven teams, I was told, that are still in on crochet. But there's also a possibility now I'm hearing from the White Sox that they may just hold on to Crochet and trade him in the offseason. So a little bit of uh, give and take here on the Scooble and Crochet's front, but we'll keep everyone updated between now and Tuesday's deadline right here on CBS. Yeah, and Jim, just one more on the Padres, because as we mentioned, they're sitting, uh, second in the NL West. So any other trade deadline uh, latest news that you're hearing just about the Padres specifically? Yeah, so the Padres are looking for another right-handed reliever. They're looking for a right-handed bench bat as well. But I've also been told, and this won't surprise you at all, Jacqueline, that A.J. Preller has quote-unquote been on everyone and that he too has at least kicked the tires on both Scooble and Crochet. And look, it wouldn't put it past him to be willing to trade his number one prospect, something he has never done since he's taken over. But Ethan Salas, that 19-year-old catcher, who a lot of people think is the best catching prospect in baseball, is a player I'm hearing he could dangle if, in fact, it could get him scuba or crochet. Jim Bowden joining us here on HQ as we are just days away from the trade deadline. Going to keep us posted throughout that time, of course. And also, with that breaking news in baseball, Dylan Cease throwing a no-hitter. Thanks so much, Jim. We appreciate it. And, of course, it was only the second no-hitter in Padres history, the last one coming from Joe Musgrove. That was back in 2021. Padres were the last MLB franchise to throw a no-hitter, and you're getting a look 
of the fewest no hitters in MLB history. They bumped up from the one column that belongs to the Blue Jays, the Rockies and the Rays. And now with Dylan Cease today, they have two in franchise history.